Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the beauty space, share some updates on a few different brands, kind of just like some beauty news, some industry news. I had a few different topics that I wanted to talk about and I thought they kind of all fit nicely together in one video. So I'll give you guys some updates on a few different brands in today's video. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kelly. I upload four videos a week all about cruelty-free beauty. So if you're into this type of content, be sure to subscribe. I'm also gonna leave below my deep dive playlist. This video is not necessarily like a beauty brand deep dive or an industry deep dive, but if you like this style of content, you'll probably like the videos over on that playlist. So I'll have it in the description box and let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay, two of the big topics that I wanna to touch on in today's video include Marc Jacobs and what is going on with that brand because there have been a lot of questions asking if they're shutting down and we do have a little bit of an update there. And I also wanna to touch on KKW and what's happening with that brand because they've recently announced that they are closing down to rebrand and we have what might be a potential update slash new brand from KKW. But before that, this, as we enter August, might be the last month for Becca Cosmetics, which is so sad to me. They announced back in February that they were gonna be closing down this year, and they told us the timeline of September for the brand ending. I've also done a few videos this year about other brands that have shut down pretty recently, so again, those will be on that playlist, but with Becca, they didn't give us a specific timeline and I have not been able to find an official like close down date for them, but the time frame they referenced was September. So I don't know if that's gonna mean September 1st, no more Becca, and August is potentially the last month, or if they'll kind of continue to sell products throughout the entire month of September. What I do think we will see is a lot of Becca products making their way into like Nordstrom Rack, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, so don't panic yet. I think we'll still have Becca around for a while, even if they're not around, but if there is something you want from them, I would say get it now because this is potentially, as we enter August, this might be the last month for Becca Cosmetics. And I did a full video about that too. They'll all be linked down below. But let's talk about KKW Beauty. So they announced very recently that they were gonna be closing down temporarily to rebrand. And we saw the same thing happen with her sister's company, Kylie Cosmetics. And to give some context, the reason that is being speculated as to why this is happening has to do with their manufacturer. So both brands were actually started under the brand incubator Seed Beauty, which also started ColourPop and all of the many sister brands within the ColourPop line. And Seed Beauty is kind of an all-in-one company, so they don't just start the brand, but they also manufacture the products within their own factories. They make them in their labs. So somewhat recently, both brands, Kylie and KKW, were purchased by a parent company, and the parent company is Cody. And ever since that happened, there has been an ongoing lawsuit between Seed Beauty and these brands because Seed Beauty doesn't believe that they should be able to keep those formulas. Basically, Seed Beauty does not want them to continue to use those formulas and produce them with Cody because that would give Cody an unfair competitive advantage because Seed not only formulates, but they also produce all their own products on site in their factory. So they want to keep that private. So they're not allowing that information to be shared. So it is speculated that that's the reason we've seen both brands do a rebrand. And I've also heard a lot of speculation. I'm going to, how many times am I saying speculation in this video, but I've heard a lot of people questioning whether or not we will see Kim drop the W from her line. And it's starting to look like we might see that. So as you guys probably know, KKW stands for Kim Kardashian West, and she recently divorced from Kanye West. So whether or not she will keep the W in her brand or even in her own name has yet to really be announced. But it was recently leaked by TMZ and a few other sources that we might be seeing a new brand and a new name from Kim. So this is called Skin, S-K-K, -K, like Kim Kardashian, N. So what is weird though is I saw TMZ and all these other sites, like I was looking into the articles and they were all saying that her team has already locked down the website, S-K-K-N. But when I looked for that website, it didn't exist. It gave me the option to like purchase the domain. And they've also shared that the Instagram account has been created. And I did find that there is an S-K-K-N account with no followers, no following, nothing. 
But what I thought was interesting was that it's not a verified account. And if her team really was planning to launch this SKKN, I feel like it might be verified already because Kylie, her sister's brand, is coming out with Kylie Baby soon and they've already locked down that account and it is verified. So I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen with the SKKN brand, well, it's pronounced Skin, but I do like that the name kind of ties in well with Skims. It is reported that it was originally gonna be Skin by Kim, but it sounds like they might be dropping that second part off. So what I'm wondering now is, will this be a second line somewhat similar to Kylie Skin? Or are they rebranding and renaming KKW to Skin? I don't know if they would be two separate brands because I, I can't decide if it would really make a lot of sense to relaunch all of her makeup products under a brand called Skin. So at this time, that's kind of all that we know about that. I was really trying to dig deep into it, but there's very little information publicly available right now, but I would stay tuned to that because something seems to be coming with that and the rebrand. Okay, Marc Jacobs. So. I have been seeing conflicting information about this for months. I've gotten so many DMs from you guys saying, is Marc Jacobs going out of business? Can you look into this? Like what is happening with Marc Jacobs? For a while it was reported they were going out of business and then it was reported that they were like repackaging and then like I have seen so many different things and I cannot seem to get to the bottom of it. But we do have what appears to be an update posted on the Trend Mood One account. Trend Mood shares that there have been a lot of questions about Marc Jacobs asking if the brand will be closing and won't be in Sephora anymore. And that's because we've been seeing that the products have been heavily clearanced on Sephora for months now. She mentions the brand is not closing, neither the makeup brand or the perfume line, which is confusing. I'll differentiate the two in a second here. What Trend Mood says is that Marc Jacobs Beauty licensing agreement with Kendo is set to expire at the end of this year and the brand is exploring other opportunities with a new partner. It's not being discontinued and they're currently in the process of strategizing the best way to reach their global customer going forward. So first I want to note that Marc Jacobs Beauty and Marc Jacobs Fragrance are two different brands which gets very confusing especially with their cruelty free status because Marc Jacobs Beauty is cruelty free and Marc Jacobs Fragrance is not but they are two separate entities under two different parent companies. So Marc Jacobs Beauty was under the Kendo umbrella which is under the LVMH umbrella. We had a whole video on parent companies if, if you want to watch that but Marc Jacobs Fragrance is owned by Cody. So everything about them is separate. Now, one thing I think is really important to note here is that the post mentions that the licensing agreement with Kendo is ending and they might go a different route. So I am going to assume that they're no longer going to be in Sephora at this point. I'm guessing this based on two things. The first one is that I was reading the comments and someone who worked at Sephora wrote that they were, she was told they were leaving her store you know, I don't have like a credible source to confirm that, but I did see that noted in the comments. But I'm also just going to guess this because it would make sense because Kendo is under LVMH. LVMH is a giant luxury parent company and they also own Sephora. So that's why you see a lot of Kendo brands exclusive to Sephora. For example, Fenty Beauty, Bite Beauty, like those are Kendo and you can only buy them at Sephora. So my initial thought was they're gonna come to Ulta because I have seen so many brands recently leave Sephora and come to Ulta. That just seems to be a trend right now. And since they appear to be leaving that retailer, it would almost make sense that they're coming to Ulta. But based on the post, referencing that they are trying to reach their global customer, I'm almost questioning if they would come to Sephora, or excuse me, Ulta because Ulta is in the US, whereas Sephora was an international retailer. I will say though, I feel like that would make sense for them to come here, but I also wonder if they would choose a different retail partner based on accessibility if they really are aiming to reach more global customers. I could see them with more of a luxury department store. I think that fits the brand better than possibly Ulta. But that being said, going back to KKW and Marc Jacobs, if you are interested in anything from either of those brands, they are heavily discounted right now. 50% off for most of their products. Like if you want it, now is the time. 
Also, a little update on Ulta coming to Target. I love Target, I love Ulta, so to see them together is so exciting. I love this partnership, and it's coming in August, so very soon here you might be able to buy Ulta products at your local Target. It's only a select number of retailers right now, but I'm gonna leave the list linked down below if you wanna click on the list and you can search based on your state to see if your Target will have this in stores. I'm bummed. I was looking it up. I figured, oh, they'll totally have it in New York, and they do, but not at any of the Targets near me. Like, they're all pretty far away, which is interesting. I've noticed all of the Targets near me, they, they're they not, like, full Targets. Like, most of the products, like, I'll be shopping online at Target, and it'll be like, not in your store, not in your store. So they're kind of, like, mini Targets. They're two stories, but they're mini Targets. But with this collaboration, the mini shops are going to feature an assortment of merchandise for more than 50 prestige brands which is really cool. I was wondering if it was just gonna be like the drugstore brands in Ulta since Target mostly sells drugstore makeup, but according to Hot Fire Makeup, a few brands they referenced were Tarte, Urban Decay, Dry Bar, Ariana Grande's new brand, uh, Clinique, Max, Max, Mac. So a lot of new brands you will be able to hopefully purchase at Target soon. They're starting out with just those stores that I'm gonna have linked down below and then they reference that they'll be in more stores eventually. So hopefully coming to a Target near you soon if you do have a Target near you. Oh, and they're gonna be a thousand square feet, which is pretty big, that's much larger than my apartment, and a roughly one-tenth the size of your typical Ulta store. And since Sephora can't seem to let Ulta have their moment, they are also, in the month of August, gonna be opening with their new partnership that we heard referenced quite a while ago, but we recently got an update on this, and starting in August, you will start having Sephora stores in Kohl's. So it's gonna start out at 200 locations, so not too many Kohl's stores, but they're gonna expand every year until they have more than 850 stores, according to this post on Trend Mood. And they say you can still get your insider points and like beauty, VIB, all that stuff. You can get all of your points if you're shopping in stores at Kohl's, you can get those Sephora points. And what I wanna know is can I get Kohl's cash? Can I get double the points? Because if that's the case, I'm only buying Ulta, or no, Sephora. Oh my gosh, this is all getting confusing. I'm only gonna buy Sephora at Kohl's if that's the point because Kohl's cash. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I thought all of these topics were interesting enough that I wanted to talk about, but I didn't know if any of them were like interesting enough to do a separate video on. So let me know if I should do some more like industry updates videos similar to this in the future if you guys did like this one. But thank you so much for watching and I will go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.